am your go-to person when you want your swimming pool looking beautiful, blue, and outstanding. So, quite a number of people have asked me to uh, do this video about um, how to treat a swimming pool, how to make your swimming pool blue all the time. Can a swimming pool be blue all the time? So these are the sort of questions to ask. And then also questions like, if I have a new swimming pool right now, pour water into it. What do I need to do? What chemicals do I need? And also, um, when it rains, what hap why does my pool become cloudy? Why do pools become cloudy? When do I know if I have algae? Don't worry, I'm going to explain everything in a couple of videos. But first of all, uh, we're going to start everything very simple and very... Uh, um, uh, you see, I'm going to teach you in such a way you will understand in depth how to treat a swimming pool. First of all, what is a swimming pool? A swimming pool is just a container of water that brings water in and has avenues to remove water. They go into your pump, so it's a pump that sucks the water out of the pool. It goes into your filter. The filter is where most of the filters that we have in Nigeria, they are all sand filter. It is sand that's inside that big round uh, uh, device. It can come in many colors, but the popular ones are Astro and they are very good quality ones. So you find sand inside them. So the water passes through different stages of the sand and comes back out. So what the sand does is that the sand removes the dirt in the water and then the water is pumped back into the pool. That recirculation continues over and over and over and over. So two things is happening. Well, there are about three things are happening at that point. Chemicals are being mixed together. So every droplet of water in the pool gets touched by every chemical. Secondly, the water is no longer stagnant, it's moving. So that way, um, different pathogens will not be able to grow. Stagnant water begins to, be, I mean, get smelly and all. So, but you don't need to worry about that. Once your water is recirculating, it stops, first of all, the filtration helps with recirculation, helps with mixing of your chemicals together. And also, uh, when the water goes in and out, it is being filtered and cleaned. Yeah, so those are the three things that the filter does. So, but first of all, what chemicals do I need? So, first of all, let us assume that this is a new swimming pool. This is a brand new swimming pool. We just added water to the pool. So, what should I do? I won't give you any measurements right now because measurement depends on the volume of water that is inside your pool. But in my next video, I will be talking about standard measurement how many grams of what should you put in the pool for every one meter cube of water meter cube is measured when you when you measure the length of your pool in meters the breadth of your pool in meters then the height of your pool for some people their swimming pool is the same depth throughout so it's very easy so length times breadth times height fine but if the pool has a shallow end measure the shallow end measure the middle measure the deep end do the average so add the three numbers together divide it by three you get your average depth so that is the average height yeah then you now measure the average height by the length and the breadth then you have the uh, approximate meter cube of water that is in that pool so in subsequent video i will tell you how many grams of let's say chlorine should you add to say 100 meter cube of water so you understand it that way just follow me yeah so first of all i have fetched water into this swimming pool there are two types of water you can get either the water from your borehole if you get water from your borehole that water there's something that will happen to it immediately we add chlorine to it and then there's another type of water that you get from your treatment plant. People that live in Ikoi, Leki, and they get water from their borehole, but then they have treated it and they can use it in their bathrooms and all, and it's no longer staining the tiles and all. That type of water, if you pour it into a swimming pool, excellent. It's a very good type of water to use for swimming pools. So, but, so follow me now. You have added water to the swimming pool. Either borehole water or water from your treatment plant. Now, the first thing to do, the first 
thing to do you get your test kit i would do a video specially for test kits and i would i mean i would recommend the one that i prefer and i trust so the first thing you test the water if it is acidic or alkaline for water in lagos in nigeria mostly most of the water you get is usually acidic yeah so once you test it check the level of the acidity if it is let's say 5.3 5.2 if it is very acidic then you now know that i need to add ph plus or sodium bicarbonate yeah when you go to buy sodium bicarbonate or you buy we sell many of these chemicals uh you want ph plus so you add ph plus to the water i'll tell you the quantity like i mentioned in grams for every meter cube so you add ph plus to the water when you add ph plus to the water it makes the water come to 7.2 between 7.2 and 7.6 but you want it like 7.2 7.4 yeah why do we want it at 7.2 7.4 chlorine works best your disinfectant works best in that ph number and secondly the human eye yeah, the, 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 the human eye uh, has a pH of about that 7.2, 7.4. So if you pour um, an acidic water in your eye, it will sting your eyes. If it is too alkaline, example, you take detergent. If you pour detergent in your eye, it's going to sting as well. That means that is too alkaline. Uh, if you take lemon and squeeze lemon in your eyes, it will be too acidic. So acidic is not good. Um, too alkaline is not good. So you just bring it there about to 7.2, 7.4. So once the water is in 7.2 or 7.4, you are almost there. Yeah. So I will mention something called cyanuric acid. If you go to every pool shop around, if you go to Ojota, if you go to Maltu, go everywhere, they will tell you. Even people who treat swimming pools will tell you we don't use cyanuric acid for, for pool treatment. So, cyanuric acid is a stabilizer for chlorine. And I'll quickly explain it. I'll do a separate video for cyanuric acid on its own. Because this is a wonderful product that you need to always have to your swimming pool. Yeah? Now, when you add chlorine to your water, the first thing that happens once the sun comes up is that, especially for people that have uh, 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 swimming pools outside that has direct impact of the sun, um, the sun takes away nearly 50% of the chlorine in your water. Almost immediately it goes away. And then, in another 45 minutes, in another 45 minutes, so plus minus within two hours, the, the free chlorine in your water has been depleted by the sun. So you think that you've had a chlorine in the morning, but by evening, when you test the pool again, you realize that the level has dropped by one. The following morning, so the next day, when sun comes up again, it depletes the chlorine, and then almost immediately, within two days, every two days you need to add chlorine to the water. If you need to add chlorine to your water nearly every two days, you are wasting money. That is what's happening. You're wasting money. And in fact, it is not good because when people are swimming in the pool and it's very sunny and you think there's chlorine in the water, actually there are no free chlorine in the water and people are... So it's like uh, you're bathing with my own bathing water. That's what it means. And that is very unhygienic. The pool can be clean. Your pool can be clean and does not have enough... I mean... That do, and does not have chlorine in it. It might have minute amount of chlorine, but the chlorine is not enough. So I will tell you what happens when your the amount of chlorine in your water begins to reduce. What do you notice when the amount of chlorine in your water, especially in Nigeria, there are some things, even if I have not tested your pool, if I get to your swimming pool, I will know if, the, not because of the smell, if I can smell your chlorine, first of all, once you get to a swimming pool and you can smell the chlorine around the pool, that pool does not have free chlorine in it. It is chloramide. Chlorine that mixes with the ammonia in the water. 
is why that's the reason why you get that smell if you can smell the chlorine if you get that slow chlorine smell when you're in the pool then there's no free chlorine in the water so but first of all um, I will talk about CY in a separate video so we have added water to the pool we have balanced the pH so the, since the pH is balanced then we add CYA I will also tell you how much of CYA to add watch out for that video uh, so once you've added CYA then chlorine should always be added late in the evening don't add it in the afternoon it will be taken up by the sun so you add it in the evening when you add it in the evening i also tell you the quantity in that next video. so when you add chlorine in the evening uh two things will either happen either you wake up the following morning and you see your swimming pool sparkling blue or you wake up in the morning and you find your pool to be very green and very dark green like blackish green the reason why you will see this is because of the copper or ferrous that's in the water so there's no need bantering about this I mean just expect it it is going to happen once you add chlorine to the water you will the 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 metal in that water will be oxidized so the only thing you need to do you can do two things or one of the two yeah the first one is um, you can look for a flucolant called well you can use any brand of fl flucolant but if you don't have to go and buy flocculant just buy alum if you buy alum which tastes nice in the water anyways if you buy alum just put alum in water and pour it into the swimming pool and but while you do that you keep running your machine for the next i mean for as long as possible just keep running it for as long as you have light just keep running it please i mean i know we have issues of electricity but you have to keep running it what will be happening is every three hours you will shut down the machine you will backwash when you backwash some of the dirt most of it that the sand has filtered out will be pushed out into the waste then you return it back to filtration mode again and you continue to filter within two days i mean well two days is a lot with constant electricity with 30 hours of running it depending on the volume of the water the water will turn to blue you, it will be very clear and blue and then you will, without adding any other thing, you, it will be clear and blue and you will then find dirt at the bottom. Some particles of that uh, ferrous will be on the floor. So normally the, the ion will now be on the floor, it's called oxi I mean, oxidization, yeah? So that chlorine oxidized the ferrous that's in the water. To form ferrous oxide which is now a, a solid that's why you can see it before the chlorine the ferrous was in the water but not oxidized once chlorine comes in it removes one oxygen out of that chemical component and then it forms ferrous oxide ferrous oxide is what you now get out of your pool like dust out of the pool so once you get it out of the pool the one at the bottom you take your machine, put it to waste. You vacuum the pool to waste. Don't run it through your filter because it comes back straight into the swimming pool. It is too fine for the filter to catch. So it will return back into the pool. So what you do, the ones at the bottom, you vacuum to waste, top a little more water, and your pool is ready to go. Test it again, check for the chlorine level. Now you see the new water you have now is I will call it gold, the new gold, that's what you have. Because that water, if you dose it with plenty chlorine right now, nothing will happen to it. It will not change color again. Yeah? But now you have a swimming pool and you have already done the initial dosing. Now we started using the pool. So how often should I be treating the pool? Or um, should I, um, once I have done this first step, what's the next step? What's the next thing to do? First of all, you need to let your filter run every day for max, I mean, as much as possible, but I would recommend 12 hours every day. If your filter runs 12 hours every day, and then you are always using your test kit 
every two days put the test kit in the water and check check for the ph level if the ph has become acidic because people i mean have become alkaline because people swam in it and all you had um, there's the uh, acid called hcl muriatic acid you add it to the pool to reduce the pH, to increase the acidity. When you reduce the pH, it means you increase the acidity. How acidic it is. So you reduce the pH. The pH scale runs from 1 to 14. So you can, when you reduce the pH, as it's coming to 6, 5, 4, it is becoming more acidic. So you add that HCl to the water. And if you notice that the water is too acidic, then you add sodium bicarbonate to the water to increase the alkaline uh, properties of the water. When you balance the alkaline, then you, I mean, first of all, you have tested for chlorine. You would have seen that chlorine level maybe is low as well. You first of all balance your pH. Then late in the evening, you add an amount of chlorine to the water, which I will also share with you the amount of chlorine you should be adding to your water. Now, one of the things that uh, one of the questions i get from a lot of people is this my water becomes cloudy what do i do when my water is cloudy my water is cloudy what do i do uh, so the first thing to check see once you see once a client calls me to a pool and i see the water is cloudy it's not green it's blue but cloudy milky the first thing you do is to use your test kit it's likely that the ph is too high that's as simple as that once you get to the swimming pool you see that the water is cloudy or milky it's not brilliant you understand brilliant sparkling blue you check the ph if the ph is too alkaline is more than is going to like eight all you need to do immediately you know the volume of uh, acid to add, so I will discuss with you the volume of acid to add also. You add muriatic acid or HCl. You buy HCl from Ojota, you can call us, you buy HCl from us. You get it into the water within two hours of running the pool. Put it in filter mode. Within two hours, your pool is back to blue almost immediately. Now. There are two things, there are two reasons why you can see cloudy water. First, if you test it and the pH is fine at 7.2 to 7.4, if the pH is fine, then you should be suspecting algae. There might be algae beginning to grow in the water. So when you see that the chlorine level, you check for free chlorine, free chlorine level. If the free chlorine level is low, then algae would have started developing in our water. So the only thing for you to do is this. First of all, you have ascertained that your pH level is balanced. Yeah. So what you then do is you go to your uh, uh, chlorine. You do your measurement depending on the volume of the water. By 6 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. in the evening, we will shock that pool. Shocking the pool means adding... An excess amount of chlorine to the swimming pool that measurement I will also teach you uh, what measurement to add in a subsequent video on shocking just look out for my pool I mean my video on shocking the pool I would explain to you in actual terms how, how much quantity because first of all what you want to understand is what needs to be added what is happening to the pool and what needs to be added then you now say this is the amount to add so first of all it could either be ph that is too high add acid and everything will be sorted if the ph is okay and the chlorine level is low it is possible that algae is about to grow once the water is milky, that's what you find. It's either algae is about to grow or the pH is not balanced. So if the pH is balanced and the chlorine level is low, algae is probably the problem. So late in the evening, you shock the pool. In shocking the pool means you add excess amount of chlorine to the pool. When you do that this night, have the machine on filtration mode. Let it filter all through the night. By the morning, I can assure you, 
if it is not new water remember about new water or well water or borehole water if you have been filling your pool with borehole water you will notice that the, the pool will turn blackish tomorrow morning but if the pool had been if you have gone through the process the initial process from the pool does not have fresh water right now yeah just that it is milky or it is cloudy shock the pool once you shock it in the morning you will see all the algae at the bottom vacuum to waste don't vacuum through your filter vacuum to waste and it will be sorted almost uh, immediately all right guys so see you in the next